I can try. Oh, yes, bro. I have 2,000 days without chanting, eh? <laughs> <laughs> can I start, eh? We, we miss you. Yes, bro. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Ajnana Timirandasya, Jnana Anjala Shalakaya, Chakshur Unmilitam Yena, Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha, Shri Chaitanya Manobishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Svayam Rupam, Kadamayam, Tadantizva, Padantikam, Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sha Shri Rupam Sagachatam Sahagana Raguna Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijanam Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalitam Shri Vitam Kampitam Sha E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinabandu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Dada Kanta Namaste Tap Tap Kanchana Gorangi Rade Vrindavanishwari Rishabhanu Sutta Devi Pranamari Hare Priye Pancha Kalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Paritanam Pavani Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namo Namaha Namaum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vidanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Srinyavadi Paschatade Shatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Haribo Thank you so much Prabhu Very nice Haribo You sound very nice Sami Prabhu when you remove when you remove the like when I'm reading and you remove it you give me chills right it's like yeah. I just forget, hey? Eh? Yes, Prabhu, yes, I tried to follow. <laughs> and I chanted, I chanted every day, but then sometimes just the fear comes in. Yes, Prabhu. Ooh, Especially on Fridays. On Fridays, um, I'm never chanting on Friday, hey? Eh? It gives me uh, more yes. chills when Prabhu Yeah, next there. Friday you can chant. Haribo. No, Prabhu. <laughs> Yes, Prabhu, I call you. I tell Lebuhang Prabhu Kachat. <laughs> no, when I oh, at least I remember. I need to formulate my questions. And, yes, Prabhu. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a bit. I need to learn some shloka, or Jenny Prabhu will chastise me. Oh, like for Saturday, right? Yes, Prabhu. And I have one Prabhu that I still learned. It's like I'm, I've learned it for like a month now. Mm. I've been just reciting it. I'm still there, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. That one, Asokyan and Vasuchya Swam. You see that one, Prayana, Badamsa, Badamsa, Chaba Sase, something like that. Yes, Prabhu. Prakna Badamsa, Chaba Sase, Gata Sunna Gata Sumsa, Chanti Pandita. Uh, yes, yes. It's that all. Oh, I forgot the translation now. I think it goes like the Supreme Personality of God had said while speaking of learned words. Yeah, you're lamenting right? for what uh, is worthy of grief. Yeah. Wise person yes, yes, you're, you're you're mourning dead, dead nor living. Oh, yes, yes, I've been there. And I also know the second one, but then I don't have the tone for it. Oh, Never have I existed that not wam evaham jatu nasam evaham jatu nasam natvam neme janadipa. How did it continue? Oh, yes, yes, and then it goes again not wam. Yeah, I think it go and then yeah. it goes neme janadipa ha na chayvam na bavavishya maha something like that, and then sarve. Vayam, 
Okay, Haribo, today we are going to read chapter 48, Ill Motivated Dhritarashtra. Yes, Haribo. Haribo. The blind one. Thus, yes, Prabhu. Thus, being ordered by the Supreme Person of God, Sri Krishna, Akrura visited Hastinapura. Hastinapura is said to be the site of what is now known Del New Delhi. The part of New Delhi, which is still known as Indra Prashta, is accepted by people in general as the old capital of the Pandavas. The very name. Sorry, Prabhu, can I disturb you? Yes, Prabhu. Can I disturb you? Is the story in the Mahabharata the same as the one in the Krishna book? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. No, 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 no. Oh. Like, uh, uh, some. Oh, yes. No, no in the Krishna book. Oh, yes, Prabhu. Oh, yes, in Mahabharata, what is that? That one. Yeah, this is just because oh, I can see the I can yes, see yes, with the name Harshinapur. Yes, yes, uh, you are reading the, are like, you're reading Mahabharat? No, he's what he watched. No, the... I'm actually watching. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm okay, not okay. I'm not quali I'm not qualified for Mahabharat. No, no. Okay, bro, okay, I understand now. Okay. It was very nice. Yeah. The very name Hastinapura suggests that there were many Hastis or elephants because the Pandavas kept many elephants in the capital it was called Hastinapura. Keeping elephants is a very expensive job. To keep many elephants therefore the kingdom must be very rich and Hastinapura was full of elephants, horses, chariots and other opulences. When Akrura reached Hastinapura he saw that the capital was full of all kinds of opulences. The kings of Hastinapura were taken to be the ruling kings of the whole world. Their fame was widely spread through the entire kingdom and their administration was conducted under the good counsel of, of learned brahmanas. After seeing the very opulent capital city, Akrura met King Dhritarashtra. He also saw grandfather Bhishma sitting with him. After meeting them, he went to see Vidura and then Vidura's sister Kunti. One after another, he saw the son of Somadatta and the king of Balika, Dronacharya, Kripacharya, Karna and Suyodhana. Suyodhana is another name of Duryodhana. He saw, that he saw the five Pandava brothers and other friends and relatives living in the city. Akrura was known as the son of Gandhi. Gandhi, not Gandhi. <laughs> so... Whomever he met was very pleased to receive him. He was offered a good seat at his receptions and he inquired all about his relatives' welfare and all other activities. Since he was deputed by Lord Krishna to visit Hastinapura, it is understood that he was very intelligent in studying a diplomatic situation. Dhritarashtra was unlawfully occupying the throne after the death of the King Pandu, despite the presence of Pandu's sons. Akrura wanted to study the whole situation by remaining there. He could understand very well that ill-motivated Dhritarashtra was much inclined in favor of, of his own sons. In fact, Dhritarashtra had already usurped the kingdom and was now instigating and planning to dispose of the five Pandava brothers. Akrura knew also that all the sons of Dhritarashtra, headed by Duryodhana, were very crooked politicians. Dhritarashtra did not act in accordance with the good instruction given by Bhishma and Vidura, but he, saw, but he was being conducted by the ill instruction of such persons as Karna, Shakuni and others. Akrura decided to stay in Hastinapura for a few months to study the whole political situation. Hmm. Gradually, Akrura learned from Kunti and Vidura that Dhritarashtra was very intolerant and envious of the five Pandava brothers because of their extraordinary learning in military science and their greatly developed bodily strength. 
They acted as true chivalrous heroes, exhibited all the good qualities of Kshatriyas, and were very responsible princes, always thinking of the welfare of the citizens. Akrura also learned that the envious Dhritarashtra is in consultation with his ill-advised son, had tried to kill the Pandavas by poisoning them. Akrura happened to be one of the cousins of Kunti, therefore, after meeting him, she began to inquire about the paternal about her paternal relatives. Thinking of her birthplace, she began to cry. She asked Akrura whether her father, mother, brother, sister, and other friends at home were still remembering her. She especially inquired about Krishna and Balaram, her glorious nephews. She asked, Does Krishna, who is the Supreme Person of Godhead, who is very affectionate to his devotees, remember my sons? Does Balaram remember us? Inside herself, Kunti felt like a she-deer in the midst of tigers, and actually her position was like that. After the death of her husband, King Pandu, she was supposed to take care of the five Pandava children, but Dhritarashtra was always planning to kill them. She was certainly living as a poor innocent animal in the midst of several tigers. Being a devotee of Lord Krishna, she always, she was always thinking of him and except, expecting that one day Krishna would come and save them from their dangerous position. She inquired from Akrura, whether Krishna proposed to come to advise the fatherless Pandavas how to get free from the intriguing policy of Dhritarashtra and his sons. By talking with Akrura about all these affairs, she felt herself helpless and began to exclaim, My dear Krishna, my dear Krishna, you are the supreme mystic, the super soul of the universe. You are the real well-wisher of the whole universe. My dear Govinda, at this time, you are far away from me, yet I pray to surrender unto your lotus feet. At the present moment, I am very much grief-stricken with my five fatherless sons. I can fully understand that but for your lotus feet, there is no shelter or protection. Your lotus feet can deliver all aggrieved souls because you are the supreme person of God. One can be saved from the clutches of repeated birth and death by your mercy only. My dear Krishna, you are the supreme pure one, the super soul, and the and the master of all yogis. What can I say? I can simply offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Accept me as your fully surrendered devotee. Gary Ball, who wants to continue from this part? Oh, Hare Krishna, Amit Prabhu, Dandar Pranam, Jai Shila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Jai Shila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Amit Prabhu. All glory to Sri Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, all glory to Sri Prabhupada. Um, Prabhu, should I read? Or... Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Continue. Continue. Okay. Uh, Akurur decided to return and report on the extreme circumstances in which he found Kunti and her five sons. Uh, he first wanted to give good... Uh... No, Prabhu, from this part. The... Although Krishna... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, although, although Krishna was not present before her, Kunti offered her prayers to him as if uh, she were in his presence face to face. Okay, this is uh, possible for anyone following in the footsteps of Kunti. Krishna does not uh, have to be physically present everywhere. He is actually present everywhere by his uh, by spiritual potency, and one simply has to surrender unto him sincerely. When Kunti was offering her prayers very feelingly to Krishna, she she could not check herself and began to cry loudly before Akrur. Um, Vidur was also present and both Akrur and Vidur became very sympathetic to the mother of the Pandavas and they began to solace her by glorifying her sons Yudhishthir, Arjun, Bhim and they pacified her saying that her sons were extra <laughs> she should not Bravo. think about them since they were born of demigods like Yamraj, Indra and Vayu Semi Bravo Yes Bravo can I please ask you, Vidur, is he the maid's son or... Is he who? The maid son. Maid, yes, he is. Oh, okay. He's a son of a maid servant. Dira... Of, uh... Yes, bro. Hmm. Oh, oh. And yeah. then Diratrashtra from, is it Ambika or Ambaka? Ambika. Ambika. 
Okay, Prabhu. Sorry, Amit Prabhu, you can continue, Prabhu. Okay, no, it's all right. There you go. Uh, Prabhu. Akur decided to return and report on the extreme circumstances in which he found Kunti and her five sons. Uh, he first wanted to give good advice to Dhritarashtra and who was so favorably inclined towards his own son and unfavorably inclined towards the Pandavas. When Kunti and Dhritarashtra were sitting among friends and relatives, Akrur began to address him, uh, calling him Varchitravirya. Uh, Varchitravirya means the son of Vichitravirya. Vichitravirya was the name of the father of Dhritarashtra. But Dhritarashtra was not actually the begotten son of Vichitravirya. He was the begotten son of Vyasadeva. Formerly, formerly, it was the system that if a man were unable to beget a child, his brother could beget a child in the womb of his wife. That system is now forbidden in the age of Kali. And Akrur called Dhritarashtra uh, Varchitravirya sarcastically because he was not actually begotten by his father. He was son of Vyasadeva. When a child was begotten in, by, in the wife, begotten in the wife by a husband's brother, the child was claimed by the husband. But of course, the child was not begotten by the husband. This sarcastic remark pointed out that Dhritarashtra was falsely, falsely claiming the throne on hereditary grounds. Actually, the son of Pandu was the rightful king. And in the uh, presence of Pandu's sons, the Pandavas, Dhritarashtra, should not have uh, like, uh, occupied the throne. Akrur then said, My dear son Vichitravirya, uh, Vichitravirya, uh, you have unlawfully unsub, uh, no, unlawfully usurped, usurped the throne of the Pandavas. Anyway, somehow or other, you are now on the throne. Therefore, I beg to advise you to please rule the kingdom on moral and ethical principles. If you do so and try to teach your subjects in that way, then your name and fame will be perpetual. Akrur hinted that uh, although Dhritarashtra was uh, ill-treating his nephews, the Pandavas, they happened to be his subjects. Even if you treat them not as the owners of the throne, but as your subjects, you should impartially think of their welfare, as though they are, were your own sons. But if you do not follow this principle and act in just the opposite way, then you will be in unpopular among your subjects. And in the next life, you will have to live in a hellish condition. I therefore hope you will treat your sons and uh, you. I therefore hope you will treat your sons and the sons of Pandu equally. Akrur hinted that if Dhritarashtra did not treat the Pandus, Pandavas and his sons as equals, then surely there would be a fight between the two camps of cousins. Since the Pandavas cause cause was just they would come out victorious and the sons of Dhritarashtra would be killed. This was a prophecy told by Akrur to Dhritarashtra. Um, Akrur father, further, Akrur further advised Dhritarashtra in this material world, no one can remain as an eternal companion to another. By chance, only we assemble together in the family, in the society, in the community, or in the nation. But at the end, because every one of us has to give up the body, we must be separated. One should not therefore be unnecessarily affectionate towards family members. Dhritarashtra's affection was so also unlawful and did not show much intelligence. In plain words, Akrur hinted to Dhritarashtra that his staunch family affection was due to his gross ignorance of fact. I Although do have we... one question based on this. I was hearing in one lecture by Subhalo Prabhu that um, when we take birth, we take birth with the same people. At, uh, what is it? He said usually around 30 people that we met in the previous life we take birth with them also again i don't know how many times but i don't know if anyone heard that lecture it was a recent one no provided no. for this part i need to watch it yeah uh, i was i was surprised you know like uh it's on it, it is like a prison like you you're with a group a certain group and you're still like stay with them for a certain time like 30 i was i was just thinking like 30 people or something like that he said like that and i was just thinking like hey, it, it sounds like i don't know 
I don't, yes, I, do. I don't know what how to put into words. I'm not seeing. I've not heard that. I need to see see it. Like to... yes, bro. And I think I heard something like that, but it was just that I forgot where I heard it from in one of the lectures. Okay. And I heard, I don't know if it's a myth, but marriage is uh, seven lifetimes. That's like a, yeah, that's something that's told in India. It's not always. It's in some cases, but it's also that this was asked from that by that from that way, Prabhu. I think someone asked. Yes. Uh, yeah, it doesn't so, matter because it also seven life is so so small. Even if it's two life, one life, some might, might be three life. Yeah, it's so small time, and also they don't remember if it if they were because he said any everyone will get a some husband or some wife. It doesn't matter who is the husband or wife because you will anyways get the wife and husband, and you will be entangled in this way. So it doesn't really mm. matter who the person is. I remember yeah. he answered something like that. Hmm. It it was very interesting though, just to hear that that aspect of how much how many lives that we can spend with each other okay. for a short short period of time. And yeah, also was, they had yes. to do some ritual for that. There was something, some specific thing that they had to do if they wanted to take birth again together, mm -hmm. something like that there was. Yes. And then like that aspect with like lifetime after lifetime they, they they come together and then the other aspect that i heard from subal prabhu that you take birth with the same amount of people like some some number like 30 people that you're with and sometimes they're your enemies sometimes they're your friends and everything that sort of entanglement and i was just thinking like wow like what if i've been Taking birth, you know, multiple times with the same thirty people, and I'm taking all friends, enemies, on and off. Wow. But, yes, you know, sorry about the tangent. Oh, no problem, Prabhu. This was an interesting point. But yeah, actually, it's because everyone is part and parcel of Krishna, so it's like taking birth with one person's like different different parts and parcels it feels like that mm -hmm. that's a good point because they the roles just change but still the persons are the same because you know we might have been professional chess players for seven lives and then suddenly we might have forgotten everything about that and then mm -hmm. change the whole thing we, we we have been everything actually Mm. Sometimes you were Muhammad Ali level boxer. You were we, we tried so many things of this to get frustrated of this. Actually, one yeah. has to do these things for many lives and realize he's not happy and die like that, realizing that then he can come out of those things. And usually it's not also guaranteed. Sometimes someone might may increase his material skills in some certain thing and get that skill many lives over and over again but suddenly you might also one life lose the whole skill so it's it's all according to the calcul material calculations of the mode and we have been acting in every role actually Bravo. Yes, yes, can i ask also, can i also ask a question uh usually they say material skills they are a liability right Yes, Prabhu. But then, but then you find the like some kids. You find a five year old playing soccer like a like nobody's business, and then they call it yeah. talent. Where does that talent come from? Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, it's many previous lives they have done that talent, and they get to keep the skill, and then they get better, and then one life they get better, and they want to be even better. And one point they are the best. They're the best in the world, and then they lose the passion for that thing, and then they next time they try against something else, or sometimes they just oh. sometimes they don't do enough pious activities and they completely lose the skills because they are not they, their activities is not enough because you have to. It's like you know you pay rent according to the apartment you get. If you get a really nice, apartment, a really nice all the features. 
then you need to pay more and you pay with pious activities. That's a terrible life. Yes, bro. All the but, facilities, uh, but yeah, you, you can you're like them. anxious every day. Uh, it's like you're paying all your okay. pie. Sammy uh, Prabhu, I have, have a doubt regarding this. Like, today I applied the Tilak. So, like, uh, that's like white one, actually. Yes, uh, not, not purely white, not purely white. But uh, I'm, I'm hearing my own voice. Yes, yes, bro. Echoing. Echo is happening. Echo is happening. Like, like, you can see now. Okay. Yeah, we can see. Yeah, cool. But it's not. Yes, really nice. Place. It looks the same as the average. Like a means a, it was like on ten rupees, a very cheap, one. and uh, it's like not, nothing written like where it has been like extracted from and all. Yes, Prabhu, I have like. So the... someone told. Uh, similar. Oh. Yeah, it looks similar. Yeah, it's the same, Amal. Usually it's not yellow. Like a, yellow. Do we have to apply the clay, clay of Rindavan or what? Usually all Gopi Chandan are from Rindavan, I think. There is no other, or is. Oh. So this, what is this Gopi Chandan I got today? From temple only, temple shop. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. They should be from the rivers, from these holy rivers like Yamuna and Ganga and these. Yes, bro. That uh, okay. the you that you uh, buy like now. Holy rivers. Emunana this, I think, because uh, uh, all the uh, Chandan will come from the Emunana the one thing, from it's called like Brindavan. They will brought so maybe okay. I think Emunas. So uh, we have to wear. You you know now why we have to wear tilak uh, now. And uh, actually, Sami bro, one more thing is happening. Since the last one week, like uh, since I joined ISKM and attending everything, like uh, before, also I was not that much interested into preparation for analytics and consulting for my placement. But what happening is happening now is like uh, I'm not getting any interest to prepare for that career and all. And I'm just uh, every time in my mind thinking like how should I preach? How should I make like this thing and put the status and all and in the class also the same thing was going in my mind and today i slept just uh, it's like five hours hmm. and my mind is like uh, i don't know i'll sleep and uh, i chanted only four rounds of, uh, i don't know what's happening actually actually i don't want yeah, to worry about these so i also, I also not, had this they're not serving krishna yes prabhu you see prabhu also when i joined I had the same feeling. I did not want to do. I did not want to do any materialistic. What do you call it? Tasks, because I saw that they are a waste of time. Yes. And I still have that feeling actually. <laughs> but Prabhu, when I when I talk to the person, like he is the guy from Hyderabad, he is preparing for analyst. So I talk to him regarding careers. So I told the same condition as I told now to him. He told like uh, it's okay, uh, you can, but you have to like. Like you, you have to work in burden for the career because that will earn you money. And uh, like, like devotion is not like uh, if you go and like roti kabada makan, who will give that? You can't just like uh, eat uh, and like, means you will not get. Like your life would won't be survived by doing just bhakti and all because uh, it's useless. Uh, you are selling. But you can, Prabhu. You can take temple life and survive and go do Harinam Sankirtan. Yes, you can yeah, survive yeah. from Brexit, but you alone. Oh, bro, what That's do you what feel like? Should what should I do then? You should continue chanting. Yes, Prabhu, you can also. Yes, Prabhu, you should chant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, when I chant, now when I chant one round, it feels like I've chanted three rounds. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, uh, previously. Yeah, but, then you must... <laughs> but if you do 16 Experience rounds. Experience of. Uh, if you do 16 rounds, yeah. then we'll, we, we'll feel three times 16. <laughs> he's gonna be, he's yeah. gonna be in fire now. And, <laughs> and and before before 10 days, I was thinking, should I apply this tilak or not? What they will think of me? I don't know. They will call me Baba and all that. But mm. now, no, I have full confidence. I'll apply and go. 
<laughs> I don't no matter. Are you probably are what you watching outside is. because of your roommate? Usually yeah, I probably. forget it. Usually I usually I forget that I have it. Sometimes actually, I just realize if someone yes, because the, but, actually Prabhu our condition previously uh, was bad, but now here I also believe in God and all, but I don't want to uh, right now do purely bhakti and I think he's a working for analyst and he thinks like when you my ear uh, I'm in a dilemma because I like both. So then he shouldn't be waiting to do outside. I'm like, okay, so become like nicely talking to me. Like uh, uh, Krishna and Prabhupada became kind of some, uh, some of help. Like, I was very frustrated from him. Uh, did you see, did you hear what, my uh, voice message, bro? No, Prabhu. Who? E yes, I heard, but oh. but I didn't understood full like uh, what you're trying to say. Prabhu, you were saying that you had some sort of business analysis, right? That's like an exam, right? Yes, Prabhu. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a career. Okay, so it's a career. Yes, so Prabhu. you're yeah, like is software this an engineer, option? Same. Is this an option? Is that what you're no, actually, in our college, we got uh, software engineering path. Second is uh, core, which means biotechnology I'm studying, so biotechnology engineer and all. And third is uh, analysting, consulting. So this is which a class. I am so preparing, but not this much. Is like... Okay, so, I mean, it, if it's a class, exam, whatever, just do it. But until you graduate, you know, just try to, you know, do some sort of service. Yes, Prabhu. Cameron Peru is there. He can guide you on online services. If you want to do like, you know, foot, foot on the ground, grassroots, you know, maybe you can get some books from devotees from where you are. Yes, Prabhu. And then when you have holiday, try to visit the temple in Pondicherry. What I think that, yeah, I am just uh, doing uh, everything no, except think, uh, like practical service. Except you can practical share, service what you, <laughs> you share what's in your mind, but don't burn it. Don't burn it. You can share your heart, yeah. but don't think. Don't think. We're going to become okay. a mental speaker. Yeah, this is material thing. Uh, I know that. I'm hearing my own voice. What's happening? Yeah, this Lebohang Prabhu's microphone doing something. Is it mine? No, now it's good. So what I think I should uh, talk to Prahlad Prabhu in Insta Goshti and also Shyam Prabhu told me to talk personally also. And yeah. uh, with time it will get clear. Like um, I'll find ways and Krishna and Prabhupada will uh, always like, help uh, us. Yeah, you can ask even the same things many times until you realize them. Prabhu will always explain them in different yeah. ways. Prabhu, that's and I also, one and I also of the wanna... things, Prabhu. Like, taste is not I have like, going to study and do Excel Haribu and, Prangal, Prabhu. and preparing presentations. Like, there is no you. What? Prabhu? Hare Krishna, Pranjal, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. A super Prabhu. Semi, I also... <laughs> Semi Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. I also want to get clarity on that question. I think I'm going to ask Prabhu the direction about Lord Brahma having oh, yes. many heads and the Yeah, I think it's possible. I think Prabhu will say it's possible, but we don't know. Oh, yes, yes, Prabhu. Because there can be many modes also. These are just Wait. the main category. What's the question, bro? Does ten-headed Brahma or million-headed Brahma's universe have more air directions than four? Oh, like, air directions. Say, uh, no, no. Because, because I, I, the point is, because in this universe, everything comes... Lebohang Prabhu is saying everything comes in four. There is four directions and like this there is four and he's thinking because it's Brahma has four heads so that's why everything kind of comes in four. I, I think uh it's just asking the question is there gonna be more uh more directions if the building is larger like you're in a hostel 
But if you're in a skyscraper, does that even change? I don't think. Mm, yes, Prabhu. Yeah, the sun, yeah, it might be four direction, but just larger in size. But Yeah, about, like it. about the amount of species that can there be more species than 8.4 million? That Yes, was in the also, other universes. yeah, that was also this. But that also applies. If you're in an apartment and a bigger apartment, it is uh, it is just bigger in size. So also the the bigger Actually, amount. yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Today, actually, I got to know. Like, uh, actually, I got uh, in our college one green mess there, but I didn't knew that they would not also give like onion and garlic and all. But yeah, they are like, uh, don't they did never put onion and garlic. Uh, so You found I have like, tried to shift to my shift my mess from my hostel to like it's just beside my hostel. Christmas Uh, that is message. green mess. Yes, Prabhu. Yes. Okay, like that. Prabhu. So Like, it's it's okay. Like they might be karmis, but uh, yeah, I can like pray four or five mantras are there, na, to uh, do hope. So I just say that mantra and I'll eat. better. Uh, That's Prabhu, better I than feasting on some onion soup. That's better at, at than that. yes, Prabhu. I do have Uh, afterwards a question. in due time I'll also get You, you Yes, can't Prabhu. have like a small cooker or anything? He has a. Can you sh Actually, can you show but uh, uh, now I'm outside actually. But <laughs> oh, yes. it's like not a very advanced thing. Yeah, Normal, he has. like uh, water can boil and uh, some things can boil. It's kind of mixed I have water, not tried right? to cook. Prabhu, Why not? the reason why you're outside isn't it because of your roommate? Means Is he starting to bully you? no, 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 not now, not now. From yesterday, he his behavior changed like dramatically. Like uh, he's very much friendly now. no. <laughs> Oh, Before he was envious, okay. <laughs> and he told me why he was envious. He was envious because uh, he was he is in swimming team and he has to got a captain. His studies was going on like hell and because uh, so much and this and that and business analytics also he got an internship. So so many things we can't maintain his peace of mind and all. So Oh, <laughs> give him yeah, the books. <laughs> Arigo. yeah. Anyway, um, with, with your cooking, is it like a rice cooker or something? No, it's like a open pan, It's which like um, um, like which which has gotten a U shaped uh, heater, I think. Is it like this? What Sammy Poo is uh, showing? It's like this. It's it's like this. It's really small, like this. Oh, it's like this, huh? Prabhu, you can cook a lot of things with this. You can do some stir fry and then make some rice. Prabhu, if correct me if I'm not wrong, did, I think Srila Prabhupada also cooked. There was one point where he was cooking with one pot, right? And making Uh, different actually, meals. like a stack. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. the three stack. He has a Prabhu, own thing. what I think now, I should focus like on chanting, reading, like Shravanam Kirtanam. And uh, I have progress definitely because this mess is like, uh, uh, like onions and garlics, also meat. Meat and everything is cooking in the same area only. Yeah, it, it, it might be like different places, but it's only the same area. So that uh, meat and so like so negative things would also be coming. Uh, and Garden Green Mess today I visited. It was very nice and clean and hygienic. And yeah, they don't put onion and garlic also. Uh, but I think that I will go and ask them to uh, apply prasadam. I don't know if they will do or not. But uh, Wait, let's what? see But what remember, happens. Prabhu, What's you going still on? have to cook for yourself. Are you asking if they do prasadam? No, I will visit. Eh? From tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I don't know. I have applied. When the message will come, I will go. I can go and eat there. I can start eating there. So I'll go and uh, talk to the caterer that how you prepare food and uh, uh, do you apply prasadam? Because I see like Jagannath was like picture was there. Picture was there. Hmm. So Did you tell him yeah, let's see. Yeah, like Krishna will help definitely because onion and garlic is left. One thing is left. And what I think onion and garlic impacts more heavily uh, in comp no no I I don't think I'm I'm just saying uh, you just say me that uh, uh, does onion and garlic effect is more compared to the I, emotions and of the mind of the person if you if I'm you asking want, um, maybe you can try to get some advice from Sammy Prabhu. He 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 went from ground up when it came to cooking Prabhu. yes Prabhu Ground I have up. a kitchen Prabhu has I mean only one part
one pot. I mean, you can do like a couple things with one pot. Yes, Prabhu, that's definitely possible. So, what do you think, Prabhu? Like, uh, uh, if I leave the onion and garlic and go to eat there, um, which is pure, I know. But uh, yeah, it's prepared by Karmi. Yeah, but this so, should not be like... But like uh, you still need to cook for yourself, I think. If you do no, something... For like now, that, for now it is okay. Like only for now. For now it is okay. I will do my sadhana. And as time progresses, months pass, uh, yeah, definitely I'll get realized in, as I get in this 10 days. So, um, yeah, definitely. End goal is cooking for ourselves only. So, Prabhu, is that the maximum size that you can cook in? So, what's the maximum size? I mean, Prabhu, it's like, just this you're, much. You're cooking, this you're, much wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I That's see so that you're cooking in in what sixteen ounce cup or something. Right? Cup, your mic is doing again. I don't know the measurements actually. Like I'll, I'll go to the room and show. Like why I'm rooming at that. See here is a momo part part. Probably use pot like this. Like this is like a, to keep the food now. Not to cook. No, no. There's this is for cooking. It's not for keeping, bro. Yes, bro. Where it is? But how? Like this? Uh, bro, I, I can, also have in my home. In a stack. Are you showing? Oh, is it my? What I was showing? Yeah, this was like Robert was cooking like this. Let's see if we see the picture. Yeah, here. See. Yeah, he had like a stack cooker. See, there is the pot stack. See. On fire also. Yeah, it is a pan now. It is a pan. Prabhu, no, no. You see in the background. You see in the background the gold. Yeah, there is three pans. But that is for like tiffin now. Like, no, Prabhu. It's on fire. It's for cooking, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. See, with these three tier <laughs> it, 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 it had three pots on top of each other. Finish, boss. You uh, can do it. Siru, I'm showing. I'm showing. Prabhu. I have. Says the thing. It's like that. It's so, a three tier cooker. Oh, there you go. It's Prabhu. a normal pan just to boil water and all. Prabhu. Bro, like, wait, wait, stop, stop, wait. stop, stop. This is not a normal pan, Prabhu. For it's only fun. boiling water, yes. Prabhu. You're limiting it, Prabhu. You can yeah. do so much with that size. No, I, let's see what you can do. I don't know nah, how to cook and all. I, okay. See, because you don't know, you think it's so little. It's only for keeping. It's only for water. But if you speak to Sammy Prabhu, he will tell you what, what all you can do. Oh, so you can do like this. Last yeah, I have to learn, bro. I, know. I, have to learn but I wanted to get some veggie. He made some pasta and veggie. I got that and all. You can make so much, bro. No. I, I guarantee you. Rata dinners. Oh, you can make paneer rice. You can make paneer rice, actually. I so. Here is your paneer rice. What is happening? Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu, can you hear me? Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, it is now okay. So, like, I have to learn actually. Oh First, it will take time because we have to uh, have like nutritious food. And, like, only one thing we can't eat like just every day and all. So, yeah, it will take time. For, for now, I think green mess is okay because it doesn't have onion and garlic. So, I can progress way better as compared to my this mess. Yes, see, uh, this actually, bro, what I, what I observed, na, I bro, actually, I only ate uh, yesterday dinner and today dinner and, not, and no more and only bananas in the morning because, and also when I was eating dinner, uh, like, like, like drink the dal and vegetables because uh, it was having oil and uh, that uh, yeah, and lesson, like onion and garlic. So, I was not liking it. Yes, Prabhu. See, this person does in one part some paneer rice. But he puts... He put ten... And this is cooker, na. Yeah, he put, but you can use it same way, actually. 
Let's see if they have electric one. But no, cooker is like a builds Friends, more pressure, and this one it has a hole on the top. Yes, Prabhu, it needs to have a hole, otherwise it would explode, Prabhu. <laughs> it would blow up if it didn't have a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was one question? Yeah, let's wipe. See, I think this person is music. Is he using Kuka? But actually, these things I should do, but in college, Paneer mushroom I don't biryani. Know. Like in green mess, it's okay for now. In future, I don't like, I'll see what to do. Like, uh... how many years are you? Uh, how many years are you studying? Yes, Prabhu. How many years are there still? Amit Prabhu? Pray Krishna? Pray Krishna? Anybo? Pray Krishna Prabhu? Prabhu froze. Yeah, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prabhu, uh, how many years are there still? College? Uh, oh, mine? Uh... I am in third year right now. Actually, I got a problem. Like, uh, I also have a semester break. So, like, uh, 2026, I might have graduated, but uh, I also have to again come in 2027, January, and finish it in 2027. Oh, that's um, a crazy. May, I think. So, three years <laughs> near mm -hmm. about. Yes, Prabhu. Just see. That's wow. Good. But see what this person is doing. He made, he has, see his pot is, it has rose images on it. This is not some high quality thing. <laughs> he has some art piece as a rice cooker and he's cooking full veg biryani. Yes, bro. Yeah. Just see, bro. Have faith. You can cook. Oh, he puts oh, That I know, bro. I can, uh, but uh, like, this is like a cooker now. Like, it's a different functioning device. Like Prabhu, stop, it has more pressure. Stop, Prabhu. Prabhu, this it's is all nonsense. It, he's cooking it with the without the lid. It has no pressure. See cooking without lid. Yes. Okay. Prabhu. Yeah, then he puts the lid for a little bit and then he takes it up. It's the same pressure. Well, it means Prabhu. without pressure, Prabhu, also no, rice no, can no, be made. Prabhu. Let me tell you, it's not pressure, Prabhu. Yes, you no. literally just put a cover on it and then remove it. That's it, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Prabhu th this college yeah. education only teaches you how to make things more complicated so you don't do it. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. Yeah, I, I get that. Prabhu, I can tell you, I I can tell you, Prabhu, like, I can show you, like, some regular shoes and then, like, some quote-unquote high-quality shoes. Oh, my shoes are not like yours. Your shoes is made with, like, some special rubber or something. And then you're making some analysis. College is teaching you how to like make you disabled, making you like not able to do anything. That I feel, bro. Like they are kind of uh, restricting us. Like you just no, go no, on this. Not and... Actually, bro, They're what happened in our college? Be a baby. Like, uh, yeah. Like, actually, one doctor, <laughs> he gone. He gave up on his life. Like he was a doctor MBBS, I think. So he why he gave up? Because he uh, like uh, he wrote in a note that due to a false uh, relationship, uh, relationship problem, I don't know. It was the small things people are giving up. Yes, Prabhu. Prabhu after studying so so much, to be baby. <laughs> Prabhu, <That was fun. laughs> like I have to say, you saw you see those uh, commercials, those old old commercials in America, right? Oh, it's tying your shoes too hard. Whoa. <laughs> Some guy trying to tie his shoes, his hands are like going in like some crazy motion. And then he's like, Well, you try these shoes. They have some rubber straps at X, Y, and Z. So the philosophy is problem, uh, reaction, solution. They give you the problem. They make you feel so that you need something. Oh, before I start boiling rice, I I need such and such. I need such and such. I need such and such. If I don't have such and such, then oh my gosh, my life is over. I can't do it. 
And then they give you the solution. Here's the solution. You buy our product. You buy our rice cooker 3000. You buy our salt. Um, sea, it's not even sea salt. Mediterranean yes, salt. Cooker was, wasn't there before British invasion in India. They were cooking very nice. No, no. I'm, I'm saying, for example, Guru. But see this one, Prabhu. He's making veg pulao in the rice cooker. And this is a small cooker. And see, when he puts the lid, let's see. Okay, put the lid already. See, the lid has two holes in it. <laughs> so he's making with two holes in the lid. So you have only one. So you have advantage. So you can make better veg pulao than him. It means he has two holes. Yes, Prabhu. It, there needs to Bro, be. I, think, I will. I will definitely cook. But for now, time being, like only one semester I'll stay in college. After that, uh, no, not one semester, not one month. One this November, December whole is holiday, so I'll be at home. Bro. So when I come at January, then I think January February uh, I'll should start cooking. Until then, uh, this green mess I'll That's go too and long, bro. what's the quality of eat for that time? How they are, uh, and all. Because they are better than these people because they are putting onion and garlic. And the green mess is very pure. People say that, yeah, they don't put an angalic and they are kind of, yeah, very clean and hygienic also. Mm. So let me try that. After that, sometime later, I'll also, definitely I'll cook because that is needed. You can go step by step. You can try that. Yeah, yeah. And then you, then you because can... Most important for now is sadhana, like chanting and reading and svaranam, kirtanam and nothing else. Because that is a base. Like I'm getting realizations in 10 days only. So high, high level realizations. I, I think that if I'll work for business analyst in whatever business or job, I'll just work for their own sense gratification and their own rise of false ego. Uh, and return of that, they will give me some amount of money to run the family. What is this? Like, I will do bhakti with that money, but still it is indirect now. I'm wasting eight hours, which I might have given in pure preaching. Uh, using my creativity like uh, making some videos or mm -hmm. posters or uh, uh, definitely uh, book distribution and like so many things yes like bro. i like kirtan and like uh, writing songs and all like, yeah, various things at I, the uh, same time uh, some yeah. little cooking in the side you can every now and then try to do cooking because see this person is doing dal you could do dal uh, like really often because it's really easy he said 30 minutes so what, I, what i think i'll let biryani or pulao like, uh, what I think, along with rice, vegetables, and dal, it's kind of a khichdi it will become, but it will be very easier. Like, yes, just sir. I have to learn how to, in how proportions I have to put, and uh, someday I can make khichdi, someday I can make uh, mix dalia. Like, dalia is like, uh, yeah, broken yes, wheat, sir. and yeah. add some vegetables and some pulses, like dals and all. So, it will be a balance. Like, dal would contain proteins and vitamins and all. Yeah, rice, most of it. What this like guy also is making is really putting first some vegetables, spices and potatoes and then rice at the end and then some one cup water, it will always come good. You can put any vegetable you want and different spices you can try. This seems really... So what, is this, what is this device? This is a more expensive rice cooker. Okay. This is like the biggest one that they sell. But I never got rice cooker because I think... Because I just use the traditional pot with the with the stove. I never liked... Oh, they are cooking on it. to use then. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. Yeah. So, Prabhu, let, uh, I'll do like this only step by step. Like, first, let me um, eat there for one, two months. Uh, I don't see the time. Like, uh, for much, I will... Uh, like, uh, for how long I'll be satisfied there. And after that, uh, yeah, I'll definitely learn how to cook in this period. And... Uh, I'll definitely do try cooking. And by this way, my mess fees will also get saved because they take 24,000 in four months. Mm. 24,000 Indian rupees, like, I mean, 6,000 per month. So uh, if I'll cook my own, then uh, yeah, I'll definitely save much a lot. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, here we get Darshan of Prabhupada's cooker. Okay. See, this is what Prabhupada used. This is the exact one that we saw in the picture. He didn't have even electricity. <laughs> he used the most. Like this only, we have the tiffins and all in India. Like, um, How can this be cooker? Uh, I'm not getting. Yes, Prabhupada made all rice and vegetable and all at the same time in the cooker and dal also. 
at the it is explained oh yeah it, it contains different compartments yeah uh, three or four compartments yeah. put rice in one dal in one and vegetables in the one yes sir okay it is nice okay boy we need to finish the chapter who will continue yes, i will yeah, continue yes, uh, okay okay No, 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 no. You can read it, Mr. Prabhu, if you want. Um, Amit Prabhu can read. Yeah. Okay, or if you want to read. Uh, okay, then. No, 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 you can read. Okay. Although, although we appear to be combined together in family, society, or nation, each one of us has an individual destiny. everyone takes birth according to individual past work therefore everyone has to independent individually uh, enjoy or suffer the rest of his own karma uh, there is no possibility of improving one's destiny by uh, corporate living sometimes it happens that uh, one's father accumulates wealth by illegal ways and the son takes away uh, son takes away the money although it is hard earned by the father it is just like a small fish in the ocean who eats a material body of the large old fish one ultimately cannot accumulate wealth illegally for the gratification of his um, family society community or nation that many great empires which developed in the past are no longer existing because the wealth was squandered away by like later descendants is an illustration of this principle um so uh, one who does does not know the subtle law of fruitive activities and thus uh, gives up the principles of moral and ethical principles only carries with him the reactions of his sinful activities his ill gotten wealth and possessions are taken by someone else and he goes to the darkest regions of hellish life and one should not therefore accumulate more wealth than is allotted to him by destiny otherwise he will be factually blind to his own interest means bro like uh, what it is like trying to say if the son tries to eat on father like father earns too much money illegally and all so like they will return i, I mean they will suffer later um if someone tries to make more money than he is allotted that is that yeah, they are stealing money which might have uh, other people gotten uh, who are now like facing hunger issues uh, we say no like sustainable goals one um, like i uh, i'm in the club of sustainable development goals so there's like one point If, no hunger if you're set to make some certain amount of money and comfort in your he- life and then you manage to some somehow make more uh, than you're supposed to get then you will lose them in this way they will be ill gotten wealth will be taken away because one should not accumulate more wealth so the extra wealth will be taken away in different ways like do you know the ways see here it is saying um, I don't know. Actually, I can read this part. Let's this see. one, it's very small. Uh, like, yes, probably. I'll try to find it here. Or should we complete that one? Uh, no, we first see read this part. Okay, unlawfully accumulated money is now, now being, uh, now being snatched and miser, mis- snatched from miserly. Snatched from miserly citizens by various methods of state taxation from the future civil and international war fund, which is spending money like in a wasteful and destructive manner. Citizens are no longer satisfied with just enough money to maintain a family nicely and cultivate spiritual knowledge, both of which are essential in human life. Now everyone wants money un- unlimitedly to satisfy insatiable demand desires. Uh, <laughs> means these are kind of like trap. Oh, see, it's content that looks good on outside. If yeah, and from this part. Okay, in Prabhu, proportion to people. Oh, let's first hear this part, then, because otherwise we forget this. Okay, read this part. Okay, in proportion to the people's unlawful desires, uh, their accumulated money is taken away by the agents of illusory energy in the shape of medical practitioners, lawyers, tax collectors, societies, constitutions, so-called holy men. famines earthquakes and similar uh, calamities one miser who hesitated to purchase a copy of back to god had spent 2000 dollars for a week's supply of medicine and then died and another man who refused to spend a cent for the service of the lord uh, wasted thousands of dollars in a legal suit be- between the members of his home 
<laughs> they are innumerable similar instances of occasion occasion by the dictation of illusory nature indeed that is a law of nature if money is not devoted to the service of the lord it must be spent as spoiled energy in the form of illegal problems or diseases foolish people do not have the eyes to see such facts therefore the laws of the supreme lord be full them yes prabhu so is this clear if yeah. someone makes extra yeah. money and he tries to use it for sense gratification and it's not meant for him it's taken away by these different things yes bro means uh, what do we uh, like infer from this like if one becomes a grihastha then he has to um, donate a significant amount of money to just for the service of lord and just sustain uh, um, like how much is necessary bro, for their it, daily eating uh, and uh, it's like not, it's not activity. significant it says here even a cent it says even a cent, even a cent. It, see it says because he didn't spend he refused to spend a cent for the service of the lord see oh. like so we are not even speaking about significant prabhu you're thinking oh it's significant so therefore i have to work like a slave no no krishna is saying just a cent prabhu and krishna accepts he's bhava grahi prabhu yeah But he yet, even accepts patram pushpam phalam doyam everything like yes prabhu so, he's so merciful so whatever says, one has he should use because in his family life is maintaining his family they should also the family members should be devotees and that's also putting money into devotional service if he maintains them and they help him to preach more and also every extra money that he gets from this he should put to temple because in 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 this age it's really hard to put exactly 50% of your salary like it should be done but if there is any extra that should be because otherwise it will be used for sense gratification because if one has money he will get the desire to use it for sense gratification they come together yeah and krishna doesn't yeah. give money to the persons who he knows that they they cannot handle it so that's krishna's mercy he when he knows this person can handle money he won't get bewildered by the money and he will use it properly then krishna will give more but if he knows that this money will make him crazy and you know he will start to act like a demon krishna won't give that money i mean ultimately everything is controlled by krishna only so yes. why we are so much getting attached that i have to work for family like my family people like you are you are the future maintainer of the family you have to maintain family you have to earn the daily bread and to us that's your responsibility and all you just work for your studies and then they say don't take stress but again they say you have to be maintaining the family in future uh, because your father see he's getting old so whatever yes. they talk yes prabhu and then they tell you there's this one they say we should protect women but then when, once you protect them it's like you gain that attachment to them you you start being yeah, attached to them a little bit obviously it will develop what is the verse that say that is done by nature that all this is done by the modes of nature 327 Bro, like oh, day by day, my faith like, is increasing. Like somewhere in chapter three, yeah, our scriptures, like so accurate they are. Like uh, previously, oh, yeah. when I started to read them, I yes, wasn't yeah. having that much. That this is the problem because everyone thinks they are doer. The spirit soul bewildered by the influence of false ego. This means the false identity, thinking I am Sami, I am Finnish, I am Hindu, I am Indian. That's false ego. I'm dog. I'm cat. I'm a mosquito. That's why they are trapped in this material world. Yeah, and when one thinks himself to be the false ego, whatever he is in that body, then he thinks himself to be the doer of activities. Yeah. But actually, the all these are carried by by Krishna. His his nature is carrying out all the activities. I forgot See, bro, that your language. One, one, <laughs> like uh, it says, like uh, it will happen only uh, what the, what is the desire of Ram. Like in Hindi, we say, "Hoga pyare vahi jo Shri Ram ji ko chaaega." It said that not even a blade. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Blade of grass moves without the will of the Lord. Yes. Really said.
as it is said, not a blade of grass moves without the will of the supreme person of Godhead. So imagine every there is so many blades of grass that are going left and right. Krishna is permitting everything. That's a, it's the soul wanting to move, and Krishna is giving the permission that the soul can move. Otherwise, the blade of grass would not move. Semi Prabhu. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. I forgot. I forgot to ask you. Like at night, which which artist do you sing actually normally? Because I I heard yesterday you were going to do the, I think the, you were doing the Damundara. Yes, Damundara Kartik month evening, I just sing the Damodarashtakam and all random bhajans, whatever comes my way. Yeah, Sami Prabhu, uh, you can please send me that link of I, whatever bhajans I skim. I have most in the Telegram. See here. Like whatever you have, uh, just please can you can send me. Yes, Prabhu. So which means Prabhu, like the Guru Puja, do you sing it just in the morning? No, Prabhu, I don't. I don't do like regular these like pujas and these different. I just do Mangala Arti and then I offer food and then I do the seasonally festivals that like Kartik month we sing Damodarastakam and whenever there's appearance day I do that day's things. But other than that, I just I don't have any fixed time for doing. Oh, like Mangala Arti, you do just the what do we call it, Guru Ashtakam, ne? Is it yes. the Guru Ashtagam? Yes, the Samsara Dhamanila prayers. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and then maybe the Narasimha Dev. The Six Ashtagam also, Namaste Narasimha, and also the Tulasi Arti. Oh yeah, Tulasi, Tulasi Arti. So you do them I, one time? One I, don't, of... I don't do like full Tulasi, Tulasi Arti, but I sing the songs and then I water the Tulasi. And I do this. Oh, I don't do the full. You do it, you do it like one time, ne, Prabhu? Yeah, because you would like, have to really do with the flowers. Tulsi Arti would have to oh. offer flowers and incense, both. But I don't what's do the, that. But what's the time you can do Gora Arti? Is it just the, at night? Is it Gora Arti? Yes. Kipa it's, Jayo. It, yeah, it's usually six o'clock. It's it's evening time. When that that's it, I sing that a lot, especially when the Gora Purnima is getting close. Then I usually sing a lot of this. So, so Prabhu, like, let's look at night. Now. I got, can uh, I choose to do? Can I choose to do what do you call this? Can I choose to do the, let's say, Guru Puja, Nelshima Dev, and I don't know the third one. Yeah, at home you can actually do any of these. Most important is that you are not without doing something that you then get confused what to do and then you don't do anything. Just choose some oh. of these and then do. At home, you can do more, but when you get into temple, you will automatically learn these all the things just by staying there. You don't have to like think, okay, today I'm gonna learn this and that, because automatically you would learn all the things. And then, if you can I share one thought which just came to my mind, yes, like please. actually, I want to know that is it correct? And like, it's like, uh, why should I take so much stress about everything? Like, when I'm doing chanting and like reading and like everything I'm doing. Not everything, like I'm trying yeah, to do don't, everything. Don't take stress, Prabhu. In those eight to ten days, eight to ten days, so much I have bought. And now, just now, I, it came to my mind that uh, we are meant to serve Krishna. If yes. we will do that. So what is the tension that it, we have to maintain family, we have to earn money? What is this? This is just a spec. Nothing else like Krishna. Like Vish, Mahavishnu just like breathes out universes and breathes in universes. So, like, um, I might not take stress, stress about... Uh, should I earn money? Should I maintain family? Yes. Is Brahmachari good for me? Is Grihastha good for me? Whatever is good for me, it will emanate from my own heart, uh, which would be emanated from Krishna himself. When my no, all impurities, no. impurities will get cleared on, by chant, regular chanting yeah. and regular... Yes. You have uh, to speak uh, to the collateral. <laughs> Please, what, I beg you. I'm at your feet. Please speak to the Palaparu. Don't say it's, it's coming from the heart. We don't no, even no, no, know no. anything. I beg Actually, I this actually like my... I thought... No, I'm not thinking. Uh, I just... It came to my mind. That's why I shared. Yes, Prabhu. Hey, Manu Prabhu said you must not think. <laughs> I'm not thinking. That's I'm not true. thinking. It mind came to my mind. Problem. If you're going to get... It naturally problem, came to my mind. Yes, Prabhu. And any problem that you're going to get in your... Because 
the spiritual life it can be in the beginning especially it can be really enthusiastic and like this but it will be tested there will be low moments when you will go down in your motivation and then, then it is tested in in good times it is easy to do bhakti but when the times get rough then it is tested how serious one is and those tests will come and when you pass those tests then you will become more fixed up and more you know more what is the word more I don't determined, know. Like, determined, like very strong in bhakti, like we'll yes, never bhakti. give bhakti, whatever might happen. Yeah, those tests will come and we will need to pass them by not giving up, thinking, okay, now it's getting worse. Krishna is, is you know, not looking after me. I'm trying to chant oh, and we become, because the mind is trying to always tell us, oh, you should stop this. It's looking for the moment. At all the time, Maya is watching us. He's next next to us and he's also watching when I can snatch him back because Maya's Maya's the function is to make us completely disgusted with this place that's the function he wants to make us so frustrated with this place that we we don't care for this place so and Maya is always watching that when he, he's so, you know, also like and he always uh, confuses uh, me Prabhu when they say like Maya is watching because like uh, for foolish notions of like uh, real pleasure is in material world. This also might be the work of Maya. Yes, Prabhu. Maya is always no, waiting for the moment. Krishna is like, uh, taking interviews of us in the form of bhakti. It will do true bhakti and uh, pass all the tests, all the interviews by Krishna. Then, then only we become eligible to go back. And we need to always, as Manu Prabhu said, we cannot trust just the heart we should even if we get some realization in the heart we should always confirm it from the sadhu sastra guru from the seniors that are the sadhu and guru that is Prabhupada and sastra if these line up with our inner thoughts then we can say okay this came from right source otherwise if it comes from the mind it can be dangerous because many times the mind makes it camouflages things to be service it will say, okay, do like this. It is still service and it's slowly leading us away from the real service. Because mind, because you have been with the mind millions and billions of lives until you, from the beginning you came here, you have been with the mind and the mind doesn't want to stop really this enjoying. He wants you to serve the mind and Maya. And also Maya, he knows you are. we are all great servants. He doesn't want to lose any servants. So if, he, if Maya is seeing that, okay, someone is going to Krishna, he will do do her best to keep us here because she doesn't want anyone to go to you know what is to actually bro, what I feel Maya is like very very hard teacher like very hard examiner he's like yeah, uh, like test three to the last drop of blood yeah he's, he's seeing that no one is going to disturb Krishna he it's he the... passes all then he can go yes bro. Oh, yes, Manu Prabhu. What no, I was saying, uh, let Sammy Prabhu uh, finish his point. Yeah, it, I was looking just the word. It was disturbed. So Maya is looking that no one is going to bother or disturb Krishna. So he will make sure that, okay, this person is now rid of all the illusions and he just wants to serve. Now he can go to Krishna. But otherwise, Maya will keep us illusion, thinking that we are doing some, some advancement. Prabhu. Yes. So now I want to know, does Maya give, I just, I just want to know, since Maya works at the will of Krishna, does Maya, is is Krishna the expansion of Maya or Maya gives Krishna ideas and Krishna gives the authority? Like, let's say it can see that you are disturbed and you need Maya to be attacked. Energy. It is just Krishna's energy. It is, and Krishna is the energetic. So it is, Maya is completely in control of Krishna. Just like the, you know, there is a powerhouse and there is the electricity. The powerhouse is in control of that electricity. If the powerhouse is not active, then the electricity cannot flow. So similarly, Krishna oh, yeah. is controlling the electricity. That is Maya. And sometimes the Maya acts in favorable way and sometimes it's illusioned in like covering way. So that is Mahamaya. It's like electricity, same electricity. It can act either in a freezer by cooling or in the oven by making the things hot. So similarly, Krishna's Maya can act in illusioning way 
driving away from Krishna or in in illusory way bringing closer to Krishna to direct so, service. So uh, Prabhu, I just do you know a game called Monopoly, right? Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, I used to rage can a lot. We say, can we say that Krishna is playing the Monopoly like alone and then he's just rolling the dice like let's say and then the pawns are the demigods, us, you see, the sun, moon, everything. Yes, but since we are not called. doing anything himself, because because Krishna has nothing to do, so Krishna by his energies he's doing these things, but he's not like because he's enjoying. Krishna is always enjoying. He's not like Lord Brahma, who is always you know <laughs> analyzing what is going on here and arranging things. Krishna is more okay. automatically. Is he enjoying in the sense of Radha Rani? What Prabhu? Is he is he the enjoyer like in the source of Radhe, Radhe Rani, Radha Rani? What I heard, she is the Antaranga Shakti of Lord Krishna. Lord, Lord Balaram is the supreme enjoyer. Balaram oh. is like a service god, na? Like he serves Krishna in all possible ways, and in that he finds. Uh, How did Lord Balaram appear, Prabhu? Wait, hold on. Uh, Sammy Prabhu, he was going to say something, but um, I. May I add, when you when you were saying low level, Prabhu, like yes, Prabhu. you said that Krishna is alone, do you mean like he's like alone, alone, and we're just part of his imagination? Is that what you're meaning? Oh no, no, like in terms of controlling, because since he's the supreme controller, like oh, is yeah. he playing the game alone, like oh. the Monopoly game? Have you seen when you play the Monopoly, mm -hmm. there, you can choose which pawn will win the game, which pawn will lose the game already, automatically. Yes, but um, Yeah, he's, he's not uh, controlling us. Like, but I, I, I want to say, like, um, he's not alone because Krishna, he's always with his, you know, on consorts with his devotees. Uh, I was oh, just yeah. say that. The gopis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I understood the question because Prabhupada was kind of asking is, is like, you know, Krishna playing the game if you like, like game of, game of Monopoly or game of like with PlayStation even. That is he playing with many controllers and he's put all, you know, characters, but he's the con one who is controlling all the characters or he's the one who is moving all the characters mm -hmm. in the Monopoly. It's not like that because they are all... Even though they are part and parcel of Krishna, they are also persons themselves. So it's not Krishna himself, even though they are part and parcel of Krishna. But it's not Krishna himself who is making moves for them. And Prabhu, why are the gopis only women? Or does the word gopi mean something different? Yes, the, the gopi word means the cowherd girls. Oh, the cowherd girls. Are there any cowherd boys? Yes, Prabhu. Like his friends? Yes, Shila Prabhupada. Shila Prabhupada. Sakhas? Sakhas? Shila Prabhupada. Cowherd boys. What, are, what is cowherd boys' names? Is it? Go I, I think it, like one is Gopis and one is Sakhas. Like Sakhas are like uh, yeah, the cowherd also, boys. I think. Is it Sakhas? I think those. Oh, Sakhas. Yes, Sakhas. Mm, yes. Oh, the, yeah, it means friend. Andrew, what I have heard, like, actually, previously I was watching the videos of Happiness Within channel, who was, is a follower of Iskon. I don't know if he was right or not, but he told many a times that uh, just do chanting purely, and you will, uh, in time, uh, you realize what is your true nature, what you are, what you will be in, like, Golo uh, mm, yeah, that thing, you'll realize, uh, but it will take, like, next hell amounts of time. Wait. Oh, you said follower of this one. Yeah, they're gopas. Gopas and gopis. So. What, Prabhu? No, I was just asking uh, Amit Prabhu. He's watching someone who's from the Soria. He's following Soria. Is that right? The one. What, Prabhu? No, you said you're watching someone who follows Viva Swan. No, I uh, no no no. I said previously before um, two months or a oh, okay. 
I was watching one channel named Happiness Within, and I watched the Golok Chat videos. I watched in detail the material world, what is spiritual world, and everything. And uh, I also watched some Ishopani Sir videos, and also oh. I he every time tells that uh, only by chanting, uh, like next level amounts of chanting, uh, in a very high amount of time, like you have to dedicate like anything. Then you will really uh, one point will come when you will realize that uh, who you are actually in Golok Rindavan because we are yeah. eternal servants of Krishna. Yeah. But that's not the way, actually, because it is clearly said that alone you cannot affect your self-realization. Because if one tries to chant alone Hare Krishna, he will, even if he chants millions of lifetimes, he will not actually realize his true position. That only comes through the mercy of Guru. So even if he chants, but he doesn't satisfy the Guru, he will not realize his position. He needs to satisfy the Guru. And that means to surrender to the Guru and take initiation and to inquire and then to serve. Otherwise, there is no... Uh, possibility and they don't know what we are doing here yes Prabhu yeah they, uh, Prabhu they, I think they, I'll be they... leaving you no I woke up late today Prabhu I I think I, my father was also calling like 15 minutes back so oh Lebhan Prabhu Pranjal Prabhu shared this for you it is about the the players and the characters oh, in the body that although the two birds are in the same tree the eating bird is fully engrossed that is us the one is living entity with anxiety and moroseness and the enjoyer of the fruits of the tree but if in some way or other he turns his ways to his friend who is the lord and knows his glory is that once he the suffering bird becomes free from all anxiety so in the bird of the body there is two birds no the tree of the body there is two birds and one is Krishna and one is us and we are eating the we are going around the tree eating the fruits and Krishna is just looking at us so Krishna is not the one who is eating there is two in it's every never. body there is two so also in the monopoly thing there is always two in the other characters Krishna is playing with us but Krishna he's the one who's moving Krishna is waiting when we will like turn to him and want just to serve him and nothing else yes Prabhu yeah there is you remember Manu Prabhu, the verse that says, And Sami Prabhu, please give me of new ideas on how to serve the Lord, hey, because I know Shruti Shruti is going to be the same. What we're <laughs> doing is going to be the same. We don't make new ideas. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong for saying new. No, no, no. I remember... I, I, you're oh, you're right. You think, want to serve. I think I should leave. It's like, 10 30 and father was also calling oh so yes Prabhu. i'll talk to him also thank you so much for association from africa yes Prabhu. yeah no other david Hey, we're in the same, okay. same yes. country. It's true, I can read this. Yes, Prabhu. Uh, yeah. Are you still reading, Prabhu? Yeah, this is last page. How many pages? Of fulfilling his self-interest, he will act in such a... Uh, such. Sorry, uh, he will act in just the opposite way for his own downfall. Akura, continue, my dear Dhritarashtra, I beg to advise you not to be blind about the fact of this material existence, material conditional life, neither in distress or in the happiness. In happiness, happiness is to be uh, accepted as a dream. One should try to bring his mind and sense under the control of control and live very peacefully for spiritual advancement in Krishna consciousness in Chaitanya Chaitanya. It is said that except for persons who are in Krishna consciousness, everyone is always in, in a disturb disturbed condition of mind and is full of anxiety. Even those who are trying for liberation or merging into the Brahman effulgence or the yogis who are trying to achieve perfection in mystic power cannot have peace of mind. Few devotees of Krishna have no demands to make a make of Krishna. They are simply satisfied with service to him service to him. Actual peace and mental tranquility can be 
attained only in perfect Krishna consciousness. After hearing mortal instructions from Akura, Zarasa replied, My dear, uh, dear Akura, you are very charitable in giving me good instructions, but unfortunately, I cannot accept it. I, a person who is destined to die, it does not utilize the effect of nectar. Uh, although it may be admitted, admitted to him, I can uh, understand that your instructions are very valuable and unfortunately they do not stay in my flickering mind, just as a glittering lightning in the sky does not stay in a specific cloud. I can understand only that no one can put, sorry, no one can stop the un onward, onward progress of the Supreme Will. I understand that the Supreme Person of God, Krishna, has appeared in the family of the Yadus in order to decrease the overburdened load of this earth. And Sarashtra gave hints to Akura that he had complete faith in Krishna, the Supreme Person of God. At the same time, he was very much partial to his family members in the very near future. Uh, Krishna would uh, vanquish all the members of his family and in a helpless condition, the Jarastra uh, would take shelter of Krishna's feet in order to show his special favor to a devotee. Krishna usually takes away all the objects of his material affection. He, he thus forces the devotee to be materially helpless with no other alternative than to accept the lotus feet of Krishna. This actual happiness to Ritrasra after the end of the battlefield, end of the battle, End of the Battle of Kurukshetra. Vizarashtra could realize two opposing factors acting before him. He could understand that Krishna was there to remove all the unnecessary burden of the world. His sons were an unnecessary burden, and so he himself was of his unlawful affection for his sons. Understanding these two contradictory factors, he be, began to offer his respectful obeisance to the Supreme Person of God in the contradictory world contradictory ways of material uh, existence are very difficult to understand. They are they can only be taken as an inconceivable execution of the plan of the Supreme who by his inconceivable energy creates this material world and enters into it and sets into action and the more three sorry sets um, into action the three modes of nature when everything is created, he enters into each and every living entity and into the smallest atom. No one can understand the incalculable uh, plans of the Supreme Lord. After hearing this statement, Akrura could clearly understand that Dhritarashtra was not going to ch change his policy, policy of dis discriminating against the Pandavas in favor of his sons. Yeah, he at once took leave of his friends in Sinapura and returned to his home in the kingdom of the Hedus. After returning home, he immediately informed Lord Krishna and Balaram of the actual situation in Sinapura and the uh, intentions of the Zarashtra. Agrura was sent to Sinapura by Krishna to study by the grace of the Lord. Um, he was successful and informed Krishna about the actual situation. Though since the Bhakti Vedanta book of 40, 48th chapter of Krishna, ill more mo motivated to the Rastra. Ibo, thank you so much. Ibo. Prabhu, shall we live in you now? Aribo. Thank you so much, the Bhakti Association. Thank you, thank you for precious association. Manu Prabhu, you must visit every day, Prabhu. Thank you. Are we reading today? Yes, it's just a gun. Cheto darpana marjanam bavamaha da vagni nirvapanam sreyaskai rabachantri kavitaranam vidyava du divanam anandam utivardanam pratipadam purnam ridasvadanam sarvatmas napanam param vijayate sri krishna sankirtanam nam nam kari bauda nadisarvasakti satra pita nemita surane nakada.
ददनम न जनम न सुंदरी कविता जगदीश कामये मम जन्मनी जन्मनीश्वरे भवता भक्ति ओके आईनंद तनुजा किन करम पति तम्बम विषमे भवम बदो कृपया त्वव पाद पंकज स्थित दूलि सदृशम विचिंतया इनम गलदा सुधारया वदनम गदगदराय गिरा बुलगेर चिंतम बुकला तव नाम ग्रहणे भविष्यति द्वैतम निमेषेन चक्षुषा प्राविर्षायतम शून्यायतम जगत सर्वम गोविंद विरहे नमे Ego, glory to the Sri Krishna Sankirtan, which cleanses the heart of all the dust accumulated for years and extinguishes the fire of conditional life of repeated birth and death. The Sankirtan movement is the prime benediction for humanity at large because it spreads the rays of the benediction moon. It is the life of all transcendental knowledge. It increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and it enables us to fully taste the nectar for which we are always anxious. <laughs> Oh my Lord, Your holy name alone can render all benediction to living beings, and thus you have hundreds and millions of names like Krishna and Govinda. In these transcendental names, you have invested all your transcendental energies. There are not even hard and fast rules for chanting these names. Oh my Lord, out of kindness, you enable us to easily approach you by your holy names. But I am so unfortunate that I have no attraction for them. One should chant the holy name of the Lord in the humble state of mind, thinking. Lower than one, sorry, thinking oneself lower than the straw in the street. One should be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige, and should be ready to offer all respect to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. Oh, my dear Lord, I have no desire to accumulate wealth, nor do I desire beautiful women, nor do I want any number of followers. I only want your causeless devotional service, breath after breath. Sorry, Prabhu, I think someone was trying to chant. Okay. Son of Maharajana Ananda Krishna, I am your internal servitor, yet I should show or other I have fallen into the ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean in death and place me as one of atoms at your lotus feet. Oh my Lord, when will I be decorated with tears of love flowing constantly when I chant your holy name? When will my voice choke up and when will the hairs of my body stand on end at the recitation of your name? Oh, Govind, after your separation, I'm considering a moment to be like 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain, and I am feeling all vacant in, in the world in your absence. I know no one but Krishna is my Lord, he, and he should remain. So even if he handles me roughly by his embrace or makes me broken hearted by not being present for me, he is completely free to do, any, free to do anything and everything for he is my worshipful Lord unconditionally. The first offense to blaspheme the devotees who have dedicated their lives to propagating the holy names of the Lord. And the second one to consider the names of the demigods like Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma to be equal to the names of the Lord Vishnu. Of the Lord Vishnu. Disobeyed order to, to of master. I was thinking him as an ordinary person. Oh, yes, Prabhu. To blaspheme the Vedic scripture or scripture in persons to the Vedic version. To consider the glories of chanting Hare Krishna to be an imagination. To use the modern term. So we... Yeah, I must give David a chance. I think he also wants to read. <laughs> Yes, so we can read this. To, to commit sinful activities on the strength of the holy name, to consider the chanting of the Hare Krishna one of the auspicious ritualistic activities which are offered, and the Vedas are the fugitive activi activities of Kurma Kanda. 
to instruct the, faith, the faithfulness in the person of, about the glory of the holy name. To not have complete the faith in the chanting of the holy name and maintaining the material attractiveness even after the understanding of so many instructions in the matter, it is also offense to the initiative while chanting. Everyone devote who claims to be a Vaishnava must guide against those offense in order to quickly achieve the desire of the success. Krishna Rama. <laughs> Oh, Neil is only joining now. Oh, Hare Krishna, Neil Prabhu, Dandar Pranam, Jai Sama.